It's been my experience with Revolutions that people who are not your customers are going to buy your product and use it in ways you didn't expect. And the bizarre thing is that many companies, when they have this happen, which is a good thing, they freak out. They say, well, we have to reposition our product so the right people buy our product, and we want them to use it in the way we intended. At the very basis, let me tell you something. Take the money. <laughs> Take the money. When you see people who are not your intended customers doing things with your, un doing things with your product in unintended ways, it's a good thing. They are perverting your product. And when you see people perverting your product, that's a good thing. Because people only pervert products they care about. There's only two sort of conditions. They either like your product and pervert it, or they ignore your product. Trust me, it's much better that they like your product and pervert it. Okay. Now, this leads to a crucial engineering algorithm. There are two ways to fix a product in an engineering sense. One is you go to all the people who are not buying it, and you ask them, why aren't you buying it? And they're going to give you good reasons. In 1984, they told me, I'm not buying a Macintosh because you don't have one, two, three. I hope you remember what that is, some of you. It's a spreadsheet. You know, spreadsheet is this thing with rolls and columns that adds up. We had no one, two, three, and we had no layer quality printer driver. So we go and we convince Lotus to make one, two, three. We go and write a layer quality printer driver. We go back to Fortune 500 companies. They still don't buy it because they had other reasons. Okay? So that's one theory. You go to people who aren't buying. You ask them why. You come back to the lab. You fix. The other theory is you go to the people who are buying. You ask them why they're buying, and you give them more reasons to buy. Trust me, do that. Do that. If people don't get it, ignore them. If people don't get it, ignore them. I like to say it's better to sell to a virgin than to an atheist. Because an atheist denies your religion. A virgin has not been screwed before, might try your religion. Okay? <laughs> okay? This isn't being taped, right? Thank <laughs> you.